Hi, everybody. Oh, welcome back, or welcome to the Strings Attached uh, Knitting Podcast. I'm Mallory. I am Frida, and we're mother daughter. Mm-hmm. I'm the daughter. I'm the mom, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so um okay so today we're going to talk about some fo's we've both got some old fo's that we're wearing we've got new fo's and we're going to talk about our cow that's coming up and some new acquisitions and some whips and yeah well, stuff. Oh, yeah we don't stuff. have a whole lot of stuff but oh, hopefully not it'll be kind of short and sweet so okay not, not too many fo's not too many let's talk about what we're wearing though okay i'm wearing the soldatna by Caitlin Hunter. Okay. <laughs> Mallory made this one for me last, uh, during the pandemic. Yeah. Last <laughs> yeah. spring. Last spring. So, yeah. That was my second Soldatna. Mm-hmm. And I put it on today because it's a little cooler here today and it feels pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's made out of um, Plymouth Encore. So yeah. it is. Yep. I forgot Encore. about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's then I'm wearing the Jupiter Crop by Caitlin Hunter. So it's a crop style. And this is what, this is a little dress I wear it with. I love this little outfit. So mm-hmm. cute and, I don't know, just fun. Makes you feel feminine. Well, just, it's a good way to wear my crop sweater, you know? Yeah. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, yeah, that's the Jupiter Crop by Caitlin Hunter. This was mm-hmm. knit out of Cascade 220 Sport, uh, the Superwash Merino. Mm-hmm. Um, all different, I don't know what the names were anymore, but yeah, really fun. <laughs> it's been too long ago. All, all Cascade 220 Sport. And then my other FO today is my new Jupiter Crop that I made. Keep scooting your, or move your quilt. That's okay. That's so I don't have it blocked yet, so it doesn't really fit me right. Like it fits, but it's just kind of lumpy looking. So I didn't have time to block it, so I thought I'd put it on uh, Sue's here. It's her name, and show you guys. So this is um, knit out of Knit Pick Swish DK, and oh my goodness, I'll have to put the colorway names in the description box because I can't remember them all right now. But it's my spring themed Jupiter crop. So all the colors were spring inspired. And I do remember this. So this was like evergreen trees. I just looked around and took in the colors that I saw at the time. Evergreen trees. This was red bud trees. These were like tulips and daffodils. Uh, The light green was like new leaves and new grass. Uh, The light pink was for the magnolia trees. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it on the call. So anyway, yeah, this was really fun to make. It took me two. I wanted to get it done in one week. I knitted this one. You just about did, didn't you? It took me two. Oh, you got I, I got this one and done it done in one week when I made it, but I didn't have twins yet. I was pregnant with twins, so it's a little, really a little nice, slower. I think. But yeah. yeah, so I used a little bit bigger yarn. So this is sport weight. This is DK. <clears throat> but this one fits me well, but it's a little bit snug. I like for it to have a little bit more room to, to play. So I thought, well, I made the next size up and I went up a yarn size. I wasn't really thinking about how much of a difference that was going to make. And mm-hmm. I, I never do swatches, so... You know, that's just me. But yeah, it does fit. It's just a little bit, like right now, it's just a little bit like wavy fits me. So I think when I block it, it'll lay, like it'll drape. It might look, it might still be a little bit big, but it'll be, it'll I don't flatten. know, more yeah, delicate yeah, looking yeah. than it is now. Right now it's just a little bit like poofy. <laughs> yeah. But I love it. And uh, mom's going to, we'll talk about this in a minute, but mom's going to make me a dress that'll go with it. So I can wear like very similar to this outfit that I have on. But it'll be in a, a light pink color. So we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But yeah, so that's my other FO. It took me two weeks. It was so fun. This is the kind of this is the kind of sweater where you're like you get going on it and you're like hooked because it's something different. Like every couple of rows is like you start a new color. So you just have, you just you can't stop. You it's know? not boring that way. No, you're just like, oh I just gotta get through the yellow. Oh, two more rows and I'll be through the yellow. Oh, okay, well I gotta I just gotta get a few more of the pink going so I can see what it's gonna look like. Then before you know it, you're done with it. And then so yeah, anyway, highly recommend. I've made three of these now. I made one for my sister for Christmas. And I mean, I could make another one. It is, it is a great sweater. So yeah, anyway, next week, our next podcast, hopefully I'll be wearing this with my new pink dress. <laughs> if I get it made. If we get it done, yeah, or she gets it done. But yeah, anyway, that is my Jupiter crop. And then, okay, so my other FO. It's kind of funny. It's funny. It's a little naughty. My uh, niece is getting married and we're having a bachelorette party for her here in a, in a few weeks. And we're playing this game where you, everybody brings a pair of underwear and she opens it. You don't put who is it from on, on there and she opens it and then she has to guess who got her which pair. So you're supposed to kind of help her and get something that would reflect your personality. Yeah. So like something that she would be like, oh my gosh, 
I, I bet this is Mallory. Or, you oh, know yeah. what I mean? So, of course. I mean, <laughs> of her, course. I knitted her something. So, here it comes. You ready for this? <laughs> so, it's a thong. <laughs> it's knitted. And it's got a... I thought it was adorable, though. I mean, it's funny. She's never going to wear this, but it's just funny. So, anyway, it's got this ribbon that runs through these little, like, um lace things that you make on the strap and all around the front and the back it runs through the back so oh my gosh it just cracks me up cracks me up so anyway yes <laughs> she's gonna know it's from me and this was knit out of mom's leftover sarasota yarn from her anchor summer shirt because yeah. mm -hmm. i just wanted it to be something soft and i wasn't gonna buy anything so nah. yeah i didn't want it to be wool that'd be weird so it needed to be like a cotton yeah. So I used that Sarasota yarn. But anyway, yeah. And then just some ribbon that you had. Mm -hmm. But here's the pattern I use. It's by Laura Rintala. There's just a free pattern on Ravelry. So pretty funny. And it took me like, I mean. You said one night, didn't you? I could have did it in one night, but I had other stuff I was like doing yeah. around the house and stuff. But if I would have sat down, I could have got it done in one night. It yeah. was easy. And I didn't, I kind of modified it. I didn't do the it called for like this pico crochet border around the whole thing. I didn't think it needed it. I didn't put it on there. I, and I didn't like the way it looked with the yarn that I used anyway. Mm -hmm. It just looked, I don't know, silly. But I didn't think it needed it. I thought it was fine. So anyway, that's my only FO. It's good for the game anyway. So ha ha. <laughs> anyway, it'll be a fun game and she'll definitely know who it's from. Yeah. So okay. That's I, me. That's I my just FO. have one FO. Yeah. I just have one FO, don't I? Watch okay. Out, watch out for my sweater. So you just have to move it back. You might not be able to hold the whole thing up. No, I just wanted to say, I got my quilt done. Yes. It's all done. I quilted it all. It's uh, the binding. I had leftover little strips and I sewed them together. And I am still got to press it a little bit. And I quilted it all on the inside. I, you really couldn't see it last time with oh, the quilting, but cool. I it just looks quilted. Like stacked bricks. Yeah, I just like quilted it just like the pattern, and mm -hmm. it, it just looks like a brick effect, and it's, it's a real wall. soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the, the yeah. no-pill, anti-pill? Yeah, anti-pill, please. Oh, it's so cuddly. And I washed it and everything, so I'm if still going to press quilt, it. If anybody's a quilter out there and you haven't ever done that, please forget so. about the batting and the cotton backing. <laughs> well, it, it has its fun. purpose, but oh, for comfort so soft and, and nice. coziness to lay on the couch or whatever, fleece is better. I mean, I think it's great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Put on your bed, probably the regular cotton bed. bed I guess. I like that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's So that's um, the Balancing Act Quilt by Donna of Jordan Fabrics. Donna Jordan. <laughs> Donna Jordan. Okay. Yep. So that's it for FOs. Yeah, that's all. I, I've just been focusing on that, yeah. and I've been I just scrapbooking. I so. worked on that, like, for two whole weeks, and then the last night or two, I worked on that little pair of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Are you embarrassed that I put that on here? No. You're like... The whole time I was showing it. <laughs> I know you think oh, it's funny. Oh, well, it's funny. <laughs> okay, so now let's go to whips. I only have one. What do you got? I just got that. Well, okay. So my only whip, it doesn't, it's not going to look like anything to you because I didn't put, I forgot to put a stitch marker on it, but I have been working on this, is my Bean and Olive. I haven't showed it for a couple of times. So this is the Bean and Olive by Andrea Mowry, and it probably doesn't look any different to you, but I have put about it's probably two about. Uh, maybe, no, less than that, but probably two or three inches since last time. Yeah. Because I have been working on it, and it's fast. I can knit a row really quick in this. So, I'm trying to you get You said this... that yarn went really well. Oh, it just slides. slides. This is Swish DK, again, mm -hmm. in Dove Heather, and the pink was, um, Yarn Cafe Creations uh, Strawberry Shortcake. So, but yeah, it's going to be really fun, and, um, my goal was to have this done by the end of May. So... Well, you still got time. Yeah, I, well, I wanted to get this done and my goose sweater done. Oh, which I didn't show because I didn't touch that the last yeah. two weeks. But before our cow starts, I really am going to work on this this time. <laughs> I said last podcast that I oh I probably have the whole body and maybe one arm done. No, I had I got <laughs> I got two inches done. So we don't always do what we say <laughs> we're going to do. Next time though, I uh, this is all I plan on working on. And okay, well, no, that's a lie. Yep, probably that's a lie. lie. So what else? I'm not even going to make a promise. I'm not even going to just forget it. I'm not going to say what I'm going to get done on this because. Hopefully. I'll probably not have whatever I say done. So I'm going to work on it. That's I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so that's the only whip I have to show today. Okay. And I have the same thing I've been working on. Um, but I've got the whole body all done on my, you can tell what it is. 
We've talked about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the whole body's done. The whole body's yeah. done. The ribbing wow. and all. That is so nice. Oh, man. And I got the neck done. Nice. I said, put the neck on neck. So it's all finished. And I'm, you know, going down the sleeve. You've Not done that a much. lot. Yeah, I have done a lot. I do this every morning and every night. That's beautiful, Mom. So I didn't get it. I tried I, it on. It fits really good. I love this yarn. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's really nice. This is uh, Cloudborn Fibers Superwash Merino mm -hmm. Twist. Mm -hmm. Twist. Mm -hmm. In Stormy Skies. Yeah, Stormy Skies. That's it. So that's what I've been doing a lot. And I got, I got a lot done on that. Besides working on the quilt. And I'm also making a scrapbook for my grandson also so yeah, kind of busy on stuff she's a good scrapbooker yeah, she puts like a lot of work into it it's not just like a bunch of pictures slapped on a page it's no, like I every do. picture has a border around it and then she gets all those fancy stickers and they all have stuff I, and they're all I do themed. fancy stickers but I also cut out my own sometimes just to but be you make original. them look really good and today I thought I need stars so I was tracing stars and cutting them out I thought cricket <laughs> Why wasn't I doing the cricket? I think you mentioned the cricket one other time. It just didn't ding on me. So I got out my phone and did a whole page of all different sizes of stars and went and cut out the ones I needed like that. No and problem. Now you have like 60 paper stars to put pictures Yeah, and I've on. got I've got that pattern. I can yeah, I can make more if I want. Yeah. <laughs> or awesome. any other shape. Oh yeah. So you can do any you can do anything on the cricket. Like I've said before, you can do anything on the cricket. Anything. And I'm just still kind of collecting pictures, too. I've got a bunch of pictures to run off. That it's a big daughter I mean, it's a big And her mother-in-law had sent. So I've got a lot of pictures to run off and and uh, organize them. And I'm still kind of just doing a lot of sorting. But I've got mm. several pages done. It's yeah. a big project. It is a big project. And, yeah. Mom gets a little crazy by the end, usually. The last? Yeah, I do. She was like, I know. There's a picture of him sitting on a porch swing at my house <laughs> in a red shirt. I know it's there. It's Where's there. It? it has to be somewhere. She's like, I know. You know that picture of him in the red shirt? It. She's like, I know it's here somewhere. I need it. I need it for this page. <laughs> and she like goes oh. nuts and she's texting everybody in the family. Do you have a picture of Keaton in the red shirt on the porch swing? <laughs> I'm, was about, I'm about that crazy. Old. <laughs> I'm, I'm better though because when I did the, the grandson beforehand three years ago, I pre-sorted some stuff mm. when I went through his, so yeah. that helped, but still, and, you know, Julie sent me a bunch, and her mother-in-law sent me a bunch, mm -hmm. so, anyway. She does a little nuts with the scrapbooks, but man, they're cool, though. Yeah, I, I should have had it done by now, because it's not very long. I, mean, I have two. I have, no, I have one. You have one scrapbook. I have one scrapbook. For and then graduation. You mean, yeah, my other thing is just a yeah. photo album, but yeah. Yeah, I got crazy last time with the other grandson, and I made him two. Well, you could fit all in one. No, the book wouldn't hold. I made like family type from birth or whatever, and then the other one's just school. Yeah, and it's the books school. are like this. <laughs> she has all the extenders in the scrapbook. I, but I don't know what I'm going to make two this time. Anyway, we'll just see what you can do. We'll see. <laughs> don't lose so. like a bunch of sleep over it. No. <laughs> Not worth it. So that's all uh, my, well, unless you want to call this, it's kind of acquisition and kind of. Have um, you started it yet? No. Okay. Well, then it's still an acquisition. Okay. Which we can slide right into right now. I was going to cut it up, but I just didn't get it done today. Okay. okay. Uh, last time I said I was going to make a quilt for mirror, Macy. mirror for, for my granddaughter's getting married in June and had the fabric. And Mal and I both kind of decided that we need different fabric. So yeah, I got the more. fabric was just a little bit purple. A little purple. So we went to, just to Joanne's, our local Joanne's. And purchased. Well, you got to show what we didn't do that first, right? We uh, picked out a new pattern first. We got excited and picked out a new pattern. First. Did I have this pattern last time? Uh, uh Oh, she's got it. The store mixed up. So we were watching. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. All right, this is we my were pattern. watching Jordan Fabrics podcast. Yeah. And we saw this come up, and I was like, "Mom, that's way better than the one you had." She's it's, like, "That's easier. I like it better." Okay, done. I'll make that one. Yeah, it's farmhousey looking colors, but she's not particularly farmhouse. No, she does more modern. So uh, that's the one I picked out called Mirror Mirror, and it's actually a Donna Jordan original. She designed it herself. And it's a free pattern, right? It's a free pattern. So then we decided, and that then the we fabric you had these. wasn't going to work. Yeah. So we've got these. So it's got to fade from dark to light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how many fabric? Six? Six. Yeah. So by the we time have, we podcast again, I'll probably have the top done. So you say. I'm going to try to scrap that to me. That's true. But this will go pretty fast. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you sew them all together, then you cut out. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going into how to do it. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that is. So I can, you know, you know, I say 
It's a woman's prerogative to change your mind. <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right, show my dress fabric. Okay, let's get the fabric. What do you call it? A fabric haul? This is a fabric haul. Let's get the fabric haul done. Yeah. Still back. Okay. Here, so this we can talk about. Well, it. this will be for my um, my dress to go with my spring Jupiter. Jupiter. So it's um, going to be. Something similar. To Something that. similar to this. <laughs> Only I think no pockets, unless maybe the maybe it might look plain without them. I don't know. We'll see. And then we're not doing the buttons, right? Decided no buttons. You're always going to have it. Yeah, no buttons. I'll, I'm putting a I zipper might... in the back. Yeah. But if we have buttons, they'll be fake. If we have buttons, they'll be fake. But and I might sometimes wear it without the sweater in the summer. So. Oh. I don't know. And I, wasn't I don't really think that there. this is kind of a linen. In fact, it is linen. So this is a gathered on waist and i don't think that she would like that gathered on with the heavier linen so i'm gonna pleat that mm -hmm. oh yeah like this one has pleats mm -hmm. see? Lot. see i can just go by that one yeah so okay this is mccall's m7950 and we couldn't find my size they didn't have it they only had the larger sizes so mom's gonna have to just make it and then take it in and figure it out i will figure it out but yeah anyway that's it i'm excited about it yeah. it's gonna be super cute Yep. I get to wear it with my sweater. Hopefully, we can have it done by the next day. We morning. wanted to have it done by Mother's Day, but that didn't happen. We've got too much knitting and other stuff to do. So, yeah. so should I? Yeah, finish. Yeah. Okay. This fabric, I don't. I had it last time, actually, but so I didn't 90s. show it. It's so 90s. Oh, uh, it's, well, maybe 90s. Could be 70s. Well, yeah. It just I reminds like me of something that I wore as a kid in, like, 1990. Yeah, I think we have matching dresses that have mm -hmm. days in them. For sure. Anyway. I, I there's a picture of me. There is. We're in the, I, I have to find We're standing it. out there. Oh, well, no, out there. Out of the corner. <laughs> under the <laughs> awning. The corner. Or whatever that thing is. Yeah, whatever. Arch thing. Yeah, probably. Me and you. Yeah. Daisy sure. dresses. Daisy dresses. <laughs> we'll find it. Find the picture. It's probably between, in my scrapbook. Between that one and the... It's probably in my scrapbook. It probably is. You have to look in your scrapbook. <laughs> and then I was looking on... Uh, you know, Joanne's has Sunday sale. Whatever. And it's like 60% off, or it was, it was maybe even more than that. And so I got on there real quick, and I found some of the fabric that I like. And last time I think I called it double brush cotton. It's not cotton. Double no. brush polyester. polyester. <laughs> anyway. You're so always this, calling everything cotton. I know. Cotton on the brain. So that's one. That's, I don't know why I'm going to make out of these. There is I enough like to it. make like a summer dress or a shirt. Two blues. Ella needs a new shirt, so. Yeah, Ella needs I want that one. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the blue polka You're dot then. I know, but I want a shirt. Okay, let's see. I like the blue polka dot too. I do too. Oh, dang it. We'll see who gets what. I don't care. I just, I had no idea. They was really a good price. Mm -hmm. I couldn't pass it up. Oh no, those are, those are cute. But that was my other fabric. Good to have. Okay, now. I could not, I posted about this today, so some people have probably already seen my Instagram post. Could be. I could not wait anymore to give mom her mother's day present can so. i give him a hint so yeah there's a hint that's one hint it's a jojo bag we'll do that one first okay i'm gonna put the i'm gonna insert the video of her opening it too so oh. i'll put that the video in after here in a second so here it is a jojo bag yeah a project bag yeah yeah and it's it's really nice it's slick so it's, it almost feels like it'd wash off yeah, so this, mm -hmm. if you don't already know, JoJo is yeah. um, Cozy Up Knits podcast, which is like how we kind of got started in all this, mm -hmm. this was by yeah. watching them. Yeah. Um, their mom, JoJo, makes project bags and then sells them on Etsy. Mm -hmm. And then she uses fabric that's inspired by like her girls, her girls uh, podcast and their company that they use, that they, you know, mm -hmm. they write patterns and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody that watches this that's an inner knows that. All yeah. right. So anyway, she is JoJo Bags by JoJo on Etsy. Mm -hmm. And I think she's pretty stocked up right now. Yeah, they, she said that she was. Mm -hmm. And this is, she had, I got Mallory one, and it was a cozy up, just the girls, the four girls. Yeah, the cozy up fabric. In purple. Mm -hmm. And that, then she has this newer, and this is her. This so is like the, they put the, they mama, call the JoJo fabric. Yeah, but mama she is. In it. Yeah. So, and it's really pretty. On, look how pretty it is on the inside. Yeah, so it's pretty. got all this pretty, and it's got pockets. Yep. So, it's. It's small, but it'll be really good for small projects. It's the small Finch bucket. That's mm -hmm. the same one you got me. So I thought, well, you got me that yeah. one. So I'll get you that one. Yeah. So, and then, um, well, my thing is to give them a hint. So a lot, most of you know who Fleece and Harmony is Well, too. maybe. Yeah. We don't know. You tell them about Fleece and Harmony. So Fleece and Harmony, um, if you're a knitter and you watch podcasts, you probably do know who they are. 
but they um, own a farm in Prince Edward Island mm -hmm. in Canada, mm -hmm. and they own a sheep farm. So they raise sheep, they shear the sheep, they clean the wool, they spin it into yarn, all different weights, and then they hand dye it all there. So, and I think they do buy some fleece from other farmers, but they're all like yeah, local. Yeah, we talk about other farmers. But still, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's what they do basically. It's still like hand done. It's yeah. awesome. So, there's no like commercial nothing to it. It's not sent to another country no. and something done and brought back. It's all right there on their farm. It's so cool too. So, it's um, Jen yeah. and Kim are, yeah. the, are the two women that do mm -hmm. all the yarn and stuff and do that. So, they have a really good podcast. You guys should check it out. So, if you don't mm -hmm. already know about Cozy F Knits podcast which I'm sure you do, check them out. And then Fleece and Harmony is another podcast that mom and I love. So yeah. check them out. Um, but yeah, so okay. mom always says, so, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have some of their yarn? I do. I, I oh, said that Oh, wouldn't it be cool to have some of their yarn? <laughs> so. so I actually got me ooh, sweaters <laughs> quantity of. So it's their Selkirk Worsted. And this is Blue Poppy. Is the color. Say? This says warm and fuzzy on the inside. <laughs> And it's Fleece and Harmony. And, yeah. And you want color blue poppy. blue poppy. Isn't that pretty? So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is a very um, wooly yarn. This is not a super wash. It's actually, really no... it's a two ply. But it's is that what that means to... when, it's, when it's at two strands? Well, there's only two strands. Isn't that I what really you call a two ply? I don't understand what ply means, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see if it says. I don't should, know. but I don't. I don't know. It probably talks about it on the website. Oh, Selkirk Worsted. Let's see what it says. Oh, no, it doesn't say. Okay, anyway. Anyway. It's very, like, um, what's the word? I think people use toothy as a description for, like, very, it's just, it's stiff and sturdy. It's going to make a very, like, warm winter type <laughs> sweater. It's not, like, this lightweight sport weight stuff. Like, no, not like we have and it's, a lot of. I mean, I don't, it, it, I don't mean this bad, but it's not, like, soft. It's wool. It's, like, what you think of when you think of wool. It's what you think of. Like, <laughs> well, the shelter that I but made, it's not like it's not like it's scratchy was either. A it's scratchy just too. yeah, like the week. What was it? What was it? The weekender, Brooklyn Tweed, Brooklyn Tweed shelter. shelter. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's not like it's scratchy. It's just well, not it like it's not like I want to rub it on my cheek. Like yeah. I want to take this and like, mm, it's so soft. But you know, when you block it and stuff, that's going to make a huge difference. Oh, and they sent a little bottle of like, oh yeah, like wool wash to wash it with. So that's cool. And maybe they sell that on their website. I'm yeah, sure. maybe. So, so, and it has like a scent to it. Mm -hmm. Jasmine. So I'll try that when I get it all done. I'll wash yeah. it. Yeah, and, and that'll it. soften it up. Yeah, but, I bet that's kind of what it helps. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. it's, I don't mean, I don't, I don't mean that bad at all because it's gorgeous no. yarn and it's, it's I mean, beautiful yarn. I wish it, I wish I could have it, but like, um, mm. well, maybe some. I'll get some for myself sometime. But anyway, yeah, it's just, oh man, I was just so excited about this. Look at that. So that is just like, I just think that is so cool. Like sheep raised on the farm, sheared, spun, hand dyed. Painted up, yeah. Mailed. Yeah. Here it is, and you're gonna make something out of it. This is so cool. And when you watch the podcast, you almost feel like you know them. They're it's like yeah, well, they're really personal. Because like I think it's Cam that does the dyeing, and mm, no. no, Jen does the dyeing. Jen does the dyeing. Okay. Yeah, Kim spins. Okay, Kim spins. Kim spins. I think. Jen, okay, yeah. <laughs> but they both, you know, take care of the sheep, mm -hmm. and they're in the barn, and so their podcast is really good. They talk about the farm and this little mm -hmm. sheep, and they show videos of the sheep like running and yeah, yeah. Beautiful sheep when it first comes on. Mm -hmm. Those are beautiful if you like sheep. Those are beautiful it's sheep. Neat. It's a cool podcast. So, so I'm thinking of making something kind of warm, warm and loose. So this is an idea of something I might do. I've had this pattern for a while, yeah, I and mean, it would take about it, before. it would take that weight. It this is, is um, my crop. My crop by oh, Isabel Kramer. Isabel. Okay, you got it. And this one is by Heidi. Oh, that's the same lady that wrote Goose. I didn't realize that. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, and I, th I have this one, too, I thought. And it's actually supposed to be Aaron weight. But that's pretty thick. This looking. is thick worsted. Yeah. So, it looks thick. It might not knit thick. I don't know. I don't know. It, but anyway, that's Maybe the you idea. Maybe should do a swatch. That's, that's the idea. Well, if you know, if it comes from Fleece and Harmony, I should do a swatch. Because they, they always do swatches, yeah. <laughs> They'd be proud. Yeah. They'd be proud. They would, they would say do a swatch. Yeah. So that is... <laughs> Especially Mother's Kim. Day. Yeah. Mother's Day present. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. I couldn't wait any. I couldn't wait till Mother's Day. Plus, I wanted to have it on the podcast. And I knew we were yeah, I'm glad she didn't wait. I like it. Oh. Podcasting tonight. So, I will put that video of her opening her presents in right here. Okay. <laughs> There's the video. Okay. All, right. All right. So, now, is there any more acquisitions? Oh, I have one. 
So, okay, I another podcast that Mom and I really like. It's a newer podcast. It's Carla Knits Podcast. And um, her name's Carla. She lives, I think it's Colorado. And she's mm -hmm. so sweet. Nebraska. Nebraska. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Carla. Well, I mean, it might almost be in Colorado. <laughs> it's Nebraska. You're right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, her podcast is really good. She's really sweet. Um, she's just real personable. I like watching her. Mm -hmm. And she does tons of knitting. I mean, she has tons yeah. of content. Yeah. Every week, like tons of knitting. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. She's already had like three or four sweaters and she's been on yeah. for a couple months and yeah, tons of socks. I don't yeah. know how she does all those socks. So highly recommend Carla Knits Podcast. And her channel is growing really fast. Yeah. So I think, you know, she's, well, doing, really she's well. doing a lot of stuff. Yeah. And so, yeah, check her out. She's um, on Instagram too. It's CB Crafty Girl. So check her out. Um, anyway, she's running a Mal right now, a make along. And it's a stripes, anything striped make along. So uh, since Carla loves socks and I've never made a pair of socks, I thought <laughs> I'm going to make a pair of socks. Striped. So. Well, I'm using self-striping yarn. She yeah. said that that would be that would be okay. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> my first pair of socks, I always knew would be just like one yarn. I wasn't gonna try to uh, do like different colors for the heels and the toes and all that stuff. Because I mean, yeah, I've never even first. worked with fingering weight <clears throat> yarn, so I don't know how it's gonna go. But I've been wanting to do this for like a year, and I just have never done it. So anyway, I got self-striping yarn. It's Barocco Comfort Sock, and this is. Color, oh shoot, I don't have the name. It's um, color 1816. I just ordered it on webs. So it's, um, it makes like a stripe and like a, like a textured pattern looking, like a, I don't know, checkery looking pattern. Kind oh, of. okay. Anyway. It's not um, plain. But yeah, it, it's not just plain stripes, no. But it does stripe. But yeah, it's kind of fall colors. If I figure, I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this in her time frame. But I don't know. I've never made socks, so it's hard telling. So if I don't. <laughs> Get them done in her time frame. At least I tried, and it'll get me going on them anyway. And then it's fall color. So what is maybe her time frame? by fall, maybe, hopefully, I'll have them done. What is her time frame? I think she only gives it's like a month. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. from like sometime in May to sometime in June or June twentieth. Like okay. So I don't know. I think that's what come to my head. I, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's true. But anyway, if anybody wants, like, starts watching her podcast and wants to join, you should join because it'll be fun. It's anything striped. I mean, you can make, you can crochet something, you can knit something, mm -hmm. you can anything. So, I wonder if I could have sewed a striped shirt. That'd be pretty. I don't know. Oh, you mean like striped fabric and then sew it up? I don't know. As long as anyway, not, as long as they're not horizontal. So she made me think. Oh, maybe I Never should try it. to do a striped something. Yeah. And I have, I've wanted to do this. This uh, simple hug by Cozy Up Knits for a while. And it is, uh, what did I say, worsted? I think it's anything. Like, um, you can use DK. I think they use DK and... Um, I can't see it on They there. hold mohair. Yeah, I was going to say, they hold mohair. Here it is. DK with mohair lace weight together. Which, which that makes would kind a worsted. of be a worsted, yeah. It is. It, or even a, just a worsted weight yarn. Okay. So, uh, you're supposed to use your scraps, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use. But I have this worsted stuff left. You're supposed to use five colors, but I have three. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I that's what I'm I want to I think to make a simple hug cardi. I think you will like it better if you just do navy and gray stripes. Even like eight rows a piece. I'm just saying. I just <laughs> it's okay. This is pretty, but mom doesn't have anything like that in her closet. No, I don't. And I've never seen her wear anything with that many different stripes on it. Mm, one, never this, one never but, knows. One never knows. One never knows. But I just feel like if you do the navy and gray together, it'll be beautiful and you'll wear it. But I'm just not sure it's heavy enough. It is worsted, but I don't think it's a heavy worsted. But it just wouldn't be as big. Yeah. Because it has a whole bunch of positive. Well, what if you, like, what if you did get some mohair and hold it with it? I would like that. Mm -hmm. I wonder what color. Just like a... White. White or gray? I don't know. White Ooh, or gray. gray. That'd be pretty. Like a silvery mm -hmm. gray. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I like that yeah. idea. I would have to or probably order one more of these, which they still have in stock. Yeah. And this was the la my sweater I'm just finishing, but I have at least two of these and maybe two and a half left over. Mm hmm So, but they you still make, have that If you too. made gray your primary color, mm -hmm. then you probably have enough blue you wouldn't have to order any. And you, it's huge needles. It'll That's why I think it would go fast. It's mm -hmm. 10 and a half and, and 11. 
U.S. It's just, you don't even make, sleeve, I don't yeah. even really think you make much of a sleeve. You just kind of knit it, like you just make a hole for your arm. And it's like a web looking thing. It's like thing. one yeah. big, like wrapped over I don't know thing. if it shows that or not. I don't think it even shows it. Does it have a schematic? They usually do. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. So, yeah. And that big, um, the big yarn and big needles. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see if they get it done. But I want to. I've been wanting to make that anyway. So that would work as a stripe. Yeah, and it would also ease up some of that yarn. Yeah. Because mm. you never know what to do with your leftover yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that is all for our acquisitions and stuff. So I just wanted to talk about our uh, knit along that's coming up. It's starting June 1st. It's for the, and I didn't have to bring the pattern this time, but I have I have shown it, and it's on the cover of our uh, last podcast. It's on mm -hmm. the thumbnail. So it's the Autumn League Pullover by Two of Wands. And we are doing a knit along and we're all, you know, I'm just making, we're making that pattern. Uh, Mom and I are knitting with a suggested yarn, which is Lion Brands uh, Cotton Jeans. I'm using the gray. She's using the dark, like indigo, uh -huh. but it's any, I think it's any DK, uh -huh. but it is a, it is a cotton pullover. So I'm excited to make it out of cotton because yeah. I think it'll be a very like cozy, not too hot. But like, End of summer knit. Like, yeah. When it starts to get a little bit cool and you can put on a sweater. I have one cotton sweater that I made in high school. I mean, I love that sweater. You had it on last time? Mm, a couple times ago, but yeah. I mean, I just love that sweater. It's yeah. not hot and it's so soft. Yeah. There's not any, it doesn't itch. It's cotton. Yeah. It's cotton. <laughs> so it's cotton. <laughs> it's cotton. Mom's favorite. I think it's cotton. <laughs> so anyway, yes, we are starting that cow June 1st and it's going to run through August 31st. As of now, if, if, you know, I think there's at least 10 people now that have said, yeah, we want to do oh, it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's Carla's going to do it. It's our first. Is she? Yeah. She said she was planning on doing it. Carla right. from the podcast I was just talking about. Cool, cool. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Shoot. Oh, so it officially starts June 1st, but, you know, if you have already got your yarn and you've already started it, um, I went ahead and came up with a, um, a hashtag to use for, like, whips and like to use as you're making it in the post mm -hmm. so i'll put it at the bottom of the screen but it's going to be hashtag strings attached 2021 cow and then whenever we are done i think i'm just going to add fo to the end of it and then that is the page that i will use to pick to pick the winner because i'm not going to go through ravelry i'm just going to go through instagram yeah i'm just going to run the whole thing through instagram so Please don't put any, or please don't put FO on the end of it unless it, you're done. Right. That way I'll be able to pick from that page only mm -hmm. the winner. And you'll have all their names. So if we just want to still pull it out of the hat on, on our show, we could do that. I'll probably use like random number counter and oh, then just, okay. just go do down the, pick that number on the post, like whatever okay. that number of that post is. But yeah. So, but to use it right now, just do hashtag strings attached 2021 cow and you can put your whips and stuff on there. Cool. And then um, I brought the prize today. So the, here's the prize. I have six skeins of this to give away. It's Cotton Supreme Waves by Universal Yarn. So soft. And I believe it's self-striping. Comes in this cute little cake. And uh, let's see. What, what else do I know about it? It's 100% cotton. Um, do, 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 there's 230 yards in this. And it does say that it's a light a lightweight, and I would say it is probably a DK, maybe even, eh, yeah, I'd say it's like a DK weight, Oops, sorry, anyway, there's, like I said, 230 yards, and I bought six skeins, so they can do the math on that mm -hmm. one, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot That's of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, it would make a beautiful, yeah. simple hug, or it would make a, a shawl, hug. or a blanket, or, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. so it's just really soft and pretty, but I bought this at our local yarn store, and I didn't have anything in mind. It was just the only thing they had a large quantity of mm -hmm. at the time. So I was like, well, I just want to buy something. So I bought this. And then I had nothing in mind for it. And I, I still don't really have, like, anything in mind for it. So I thought, I'm going to give that away. Since we're doing a cotton sweater as a cow, I thought I'd give away this cotton, cotton yarn. yarn. And then I think I'll also make a tote with our strings attached logo on it. Okay. So that the yarn will come in the tote, and that will be the price yeah. to the winner. So hopefully we get a lot of people that join and... It'll be fun. Yeah, that will be fun. Yeah. So, okay. I think that's it for us today. Well, and I wanted to talk about oh, something. Oh, future knits. Future knits, which Sorry. we've all got future knits. I already <laughs> talked we've about talked them. a lot about future knits. But I wanted to make Alice and Maggie uh, little Christmas sweaters. Cute. So, um, I think it's DK. 
yarn. It's Cascade. It's Cascade, it's Cascade 220. It's, everything in this book is Cascade 220. So mm -hmm. anyway, the little red one, which she said she liked, the bright red. And then I'll make one Christmas green. Yeah. So tell them so, what it is. Okay, you tell them. Let's see. Here we this go. is the Fair Isle Cardigan from, this is a Cascade book, 60 Quick Baby Knits. And it's number 39. And it's, yeah, it's all Cascade 220 Superwash wool. So it's it's not a worsted weight. It's like in between. Yeah. DK and worsted. So, yeah. yeah. So that'll be fun, too. That's a future knit. So many people yeah, have an acquisition yeah. on these days for that. Days. I have future knits, too, but I've talked about them. And yeah. I'm just trying to get through what I've got now. The future yeah. knit is my sock and my autumn leaf. I'm trying to finish the blue sweater before our cow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I probably won't. My other one that I'm doing, I probably won't. Yeah. I'll just do it once in a while. And she's got an afghan going right now, too, that she's oh, yeah. slowly tinking away. Tink. I did do some more Taking on the last. away at. I did do some more on the last afghan, but I've showed it, and it's not much different. I mean, I've done maybe, yeah, but, <laughs> but uh, I'm working on it now, too. Okay. Since I got the other crop thing, done. not crop, but anchor done. Yeah. I'm working on T-shirt done. So. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.